Today I'm going to show you how to put together this Gourd Craft Kit Easter Bunny Pals from Meadowbrook Gourds. Today I would like to show you a kit that I purchased online from Meadowbrook Gourds. If you've been following us, um, you may have watched our video of a tour that we took at this uh, location. If not, there is a link below that you can watch it. It's a really, really cool place to visit. And what they do is they um, grow gourds that they make into snowmen and pumpkins. And um, this is Easter bunnies for Easter. So I purchased this kit online. And this kit, the kit costs $20. And I'm gonna be able to make two rabbit gourds and I also, for $5, bought the pink paint because I just didn't want to be bothered. But if you have paint at home, you can um, use your own paint. And so I've never done, I've made a snowman in the past and it was so super easy. It's something you can put together in a couple hours. And the neat thing about making your own is it really does cut the cost down. A lot of these gourds, if you buy them in catalogs and stuff can be like $35, $40. And I got both of these uh, for $20. So there's a little tiny gourd um, and she comes with little ears. And then the larger one comes with a light so you can um, light this one up. And the larger one comes with the ribbon. So it pretty much has everything. This this is actually tacky glue, the same tacky glue that I use. They give you a little bit. Um, that's all you need to glue it together. And you can paint them. They are just like wood. So you can stain it, you can paint it, or you can keep it natural if you like the natural look. Um, once you're done painting or staining, they recommend that you polyurethane it. And so I get the just the polyurethane spray and I, I coat the whole thing. Um, so for today, I, um, I think I'm gonna leave my little bunny natural and just polyurethane it. But my big bunny, I wanna paint the base pink and I'm gonna keep the head natural except for the little heart nose, I'm gonna paint that pink. Um, so, Basically, to get started, the first thing you want to do is decide if you want to stain or paint it. And if you do, then um, just go ahead and do that first. Okay, so for my little gourd, I'm just going to keep it natural. So for the ears, they're kind of made out of a leather. So I'm just going to kind of pinch it together because the instructions, and it gives you a whole instructions on how to assemble your bunnies. Um, so they say to stick it in there. So I have my own tacky glue, so I'm not going to use what they gave me, but they say to just put a little tacky glue on it and stick it in the ear and then do the other one. Never worked with the ears before they're kind of stiff but I think this will work actually in this one I think I'm gonna put the glue in the hole and then stick your ear in okay then just run a bead of glue on the base to glue the base to the feet. And then you're gonna run another bead of glue around. And the neat thing, if you go and tour it, they actually have gourds there, just plain gourds that you can buy and do your own crafts with. They also have the kits on the tour too. Or if you live far away, you can just order it online. So next thing I'm going to do is um, spray it with some polyurethane spray, but I'm going to do that outside. So I'm not going to show that part of it. 
Okay, um, so just to point something out in the video, don't make this mistake. I accidentally glued the heart upside down because um, on the ones that I've assembled before, it was always the whole attached to the body, but on this case, it's opposite. So I wasn't used to doing it that way and I accidentally glued it the wrong way and it was really hard to um, take apart. But I did with a X-Acto knife if you happen to make that mistake, but don't make that mistake. Pay attention to the pattern and make sure you do it upright. So I've re-glued it and then um, since it's such a windy day, I didn't want to show this outside. Um, I get the acrylic min wax. I use the clear satin. You can use the gloss. I think the satin is a little nicer because it's not as shiny. Um, but basically I just took it outside and just gave it a spray. And then um, that's all it came with. So if you wanna finish it that way, you can. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little ribbon around her neck and tie that off. And then the other thing that I'm gonna do is glue a little pom-pom um, on the back with some of the tacky glue for her uh, tail. So I just tied a little ribbon on her and trimmed it off. And on the back, I put a little pink pom-pom for her tail. And so then your first bunny is finished. So to do the second one, the second one did come with ribbon. Um, so you'll be able to add that. The first step you wanna do is paint the base. I painted my pink. You don't have to, you could keep it all natural. You can stain it. I have stained some in the past. Um, I chose to paint this one because I wanted it pink. So my first, um, and I bought the paint that they sell, but you wouldn't have to. It's just a latex paint and you don't need much. So you, you could, would only need something about half this size. So I basically used a small paintbrush and I painted my first layer. But um, you'll notice with the paintbrush, it'll show streaks, and this one does not show streaks. So what you do after your first coat dries, get one of the sponge brushes and just um, put the paint on the sponge brush and then just go like this over it. And then that eliminates any lines so you get that nice solid color. So that's what you do for the base if you wanna paint it a color or if you wanna stain it. The top I'm choosing to keep natural. So I again used my Minwax um, clear satin and I sprayed it. And the only thing I painted on it was her nose. So then you basically wanna put it together the same way that you did the other um, bunny. You have ears that you're gonna again, kind of fold and soften up a little bit to make that ear shape and you're gonna glue it into each side. So you just wanna fold it in half so that it makes that ear shape and that way it'll fit into the hole. So I'm just gonna take again a little tacky glue. They give you glue that you can use with it or you can just use your own tacky glue. So just stick it into the hole, wipe off any excess, and do the same with the other ear. And then you're gonna take that same tacky glue and you're just gonna go around the base. And there's two parts that you have to glue on. You have to glue this to the base here, and this is where your holes in the bottom also your pattern will tell you, but that's where your light's gonna go in. So the first tacky glue is gonna go on the base around it. And that will get glued to your wooden circle. And you just wanna make sure it's lined up nice. So that's your base. And then your next glue is going to go on the head and that you will position 
where you want it here. So then you're gonna let that dry. And then once it dries, you're gonna add your ribbon around her neck as well. And then once it's completely done, I'll turn off the light, even though it's not dark, but you can get the idea. And so not even a day's time, you have two really cute gourds for like $20, which is a great price. So if this is your first time watching, welcome, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It lets us know what you're enjoying. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.